Welcome back, Kerbal Knots. KSP2. We're going to dress for weekly challenge number 13, I think. I don't know. And we're going out of order. We skipped the juice mission. We got that one coming up. We built a craft. We're trying out this here uh, time lapse build stuff going on here. This catchy little de delete deep music is a uh, Kevin McLeod friendly day. It's on the YouTube stuff. Yeah, there'll be a link in the, the description down below for that one. But yeah, all right. Um, juice mission. Yeah, that's coming up. This week is the the moho go to the moho mission. We gotta work on that one yet. But I got the juice. The Arion 5 looking rocket all built. I didn't time lapse that one because, you know, I built that one before I did this one. I was like, oh, let's, let's time lapse it. We'll do the, the actual build thing. And then I think I did something right. We have game audio. Oh, wasn't that countdown great? And engine sounds? I mean, we, they are sped up a little bit. The music could be a little off, a little off tempo. Oh, will that help uh, against the copyright? Because it's off tempo when it's faster. It's like, uh, hey, subscribe. Click the bell. Get a thumbs up. Like the video. Most people cut out here, so gotta kick that in. But yeah, hey, sound audio. But we're gonna take this wobbly rocket. It's it's bouncing around a little bit. Oh, booster separation. They clank a little bit, but no explosions. This is always good. Yeah, I would say uh, copyright. Will that uh, keep me from getting a, a thingy? Like, yeah, it's not really the same song anymore. It's sped sped up like three or four times. I think most spots are uh, three times, couple spots are four times. There might be a, a couple parts of eight times. Can't be for sure, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we're going to, to Drez, if you didn't know that. And there's the Kraken. The Kraken shows up a lot. Pretty much right off the bat. I mean, look at this thing shaking. We have reached an half waves of 90,000. Let's do a little coasting. That was a very little coast. Alright. Full throttle. Let's get in orbit. No. Let's not leave space junk around Kerbin. more of a little closer to our paraphrases ditch that um our fairing just went shooting away at like light speed or something there's there's the cracking and bugs happening already not that affects our game any but say bye to that piece it will probably exit the entire curb and system I would assume solar panels and lights should be coming on soon. But it looks like we have the lights on. But oh, deploy the solar panels and the satellite dish for communication. So the Kerbals can watch their favorite Hulu, Netflix, whatever they they're streaming, the Kerbal flicks. We still haven't got a, a full orbit yet. We're gonna now look at 101. Oh, as we suffer through only three time warp speed, trying to get out of the atmosphere so we can warp up to our 
Ah, eh, why, Liz? And go a little quicker. That's not a bug. That's just the way KSP is. But if we were playing KSP1, we could have the Better Time Warp mod. Oh, I missed that mod. If it's not NKSP2, please make it. Maybe I should check the mod list. It might be there by now. That would help a tremendous amount. There's our orbit. And now I think we kick into eight times speed. So if you see there we're in our dress target window. Yeah. And if you draw a line from the sun or from Kerman to the sun out there to to dress eighty some degrees. So I don't know, a little bit before ninety you got. But dress is on an inclination and you'll usually have to make another burn, so you just kind of get close, burn again, so you can get closer. <laughs> so you gotta do that plane change. So if we had a KSP-1 again, Kerbal Engineer, it would tell us, and we could just, you know, you come off your launch pad at that angle. And you can crash match its inclination and save you quite a bit of delta v and i do not know if you've just seen that but uh another crack and attack it just changed my motor setup so now we're like all right we get out here we're gonna pull it up we'll find us a another encounter Oh, there it is. All right. Um, use some fine engineering rocket skills. Pull it in. You know, it's not. It's not like we just tweaked it and played around with the notes how we got it. No, we we finally used rocketing science and mathematics to know just how much. Yeah, I just pulled a little arrow until I got to where I wanted. And then I tried spin stabilization. And then I was like, oh. It'll stay put if you time warp too. So that's better than spinning our curvils around and spin cycle like a dryer, huh? But yeah, there you see. We can't keep on the node. So now it's a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Because for some reason, I don't know if you've seen there in the, the time lapse build, I thought, wouldn't it be neat to put two poodles? On the bottom of this, so I'd have like four engines. Well, then the Kraken decided to spin one of them somewhere during the launch, after the launch. I don't know, but they weren't set in like a T configuration when I made it. So now, the thrust is an equal, and my flip ship wants to do backflips. So we got a just low thrust, a little bit. And hope for the best. But we we get there. And now our trajectory changes, and we gotta try again. And then we we have what looks to be an encounter. All right, time we're bad. And try not to go time word right by it. We just did. Um, stealth quick save. Go back. <laughs> Focus back in. Pull it back down where we want it to be. Oh, that was so much cracking or just uh, not paying attention and quick save or uh, time warping too quickly. Yeah, we went right on past us. So now we got, I think we got lined up onto the, the next orbit or something. So now, let's see, how come I can't click on that and time warp to there? No, that'd be too easy. Yeah, you see how our trigger kind of goes across the next orbit? So when we clicked on that and we're going to time warp right and buy it. So now we just go 
a little bit, but a little bit, and make sure we don't end up on that secondary orbit. A little bit more, just a little bit, give me just a little bit. The pain, the pain I went through to make this video. Time warp too far. Crack and changing up my engine's configuration. Oh, but wait, there's more. Don't worry. The Kraken is not done playing with this mission yet. Fear of influence yet. There we go. There's Drez in the background. Yeah, so it's probably because Drez is where the Kraken lives, and that's why in Curve Lore and KSP 1, there's no Drez. Because the Kraken just like ate it, or he just lived there, and you weren't allowed to know that. And they tried to distract you by saying, Oh, the Kraken lives on Bob or Pole or pretty sure it's Bob. That's the cure below is that the Kraken lives on Bob, but no. Pretty sure he lives at Drez. Cause look, why did it go away out there before it started to I mean come on now. I can't even get an orbit, it just wants to go like have an orbit and crash. Let's try again. This is like Nope, 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 nope. Yep, now we're gonna turn. Okay. We'll figure something out here. Tweak, 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 engineer, engineer, use mathematics. That looks like the canyon there, maybe? Oh, that'll kind of work, yeah. Let's, let's try that. Of course, you can't go by the uh, maneuver maker because I can't use full throttle. So it's kind of pointless, really. We just end up kind of engineering it. So I'll log time warp. Time warp so we can stay on, on course. Start turning. Are we gonna start orbiting? What's going on? Are we gonna zoom right on by? Um, this ain't good. All right, let's not want to do it. Let's cheat. Put it in orbit. Oh no, that, that's curbing. I said draws. I want to orbit around draws. Hey, there we go. But oh, and then we get that bug where. Your periapsis and apoapsis don't stay put. That's the whole reason I got this mod of the lazy orbit was because so when I started doing this stuff, I could just you know kind of cheat and put my orbit back to where it was. No, it still does it even with the mod. It's not like oh great. All right, let's just work with it. It wants to. It wants to bring us in. We want to eventually land. We'll just, we'll just engineer it. We'll use up fuel. We plan on putting on infinite fuel because of this. But then I forget. And we run out. Just above the surface. So uh, if you didn't know, this becomes a, a one-way mission. No, like, alright, now we gotta get our path over these craters. And then our uh, orbits want to move on us. We have zero throttle, and our orbits just, alright, there we go, 10%. Let's try it right down. No, nope, no. Nope. Of course, now we're not bringing it down, we're trying to push it back away. Because it wants to bring it down itself. Arr. There's those Drez craters. Look at that mountain range behind it. 
Oh, that's right. Well, I guess there's probably a quick save. Someday in the future I could go back and we could explore the mountains. It's like we're in the atmosphere. Like, why is that coming back? It's like, dang, it's because the drugs are spinning around that fast. Nope, it's Kraken. Kraken lives on drugs. I lives in one of these canyons. Push it out, it comes back. Like, there's no atmosphere. Like, once you're in orbit, it should stay in orbit. I shouldn't have to keep boosting back out, boosting back out. Now we're looking for the canyon, because we want to try to land there still. Nope, nope, we're nowhere near it. Alright. Orbit. Yeah, there we go. Nope. Orbit. Do you have something we can work with? Oh, there's the ring. The Dredd's ring. That's pretty cool they added that. And they put it on a tilt, an actual tilt. No other planets have that. They really made, they really made Dredd's because it wasn't a place before. And there's a bug that, yeah, when you uh, leave spheres of influences, your treasure changed. That's what happened last time when I made the video can't confirm Dredd's does not exist. Because I tried to go to Dresden and ended up hitting Kerbal. I went right into the sun. Because that that bug, that bug still exists. That hasn't been passed out yet. Maybe the next one. Coming soon in a few weeks, I believe they said. Well, we missed the two big craters, but maybe we can get this little crater. It's still a pretty big crater once we get to it. It may look small from orbit, and it may be small compared to the others, but it is still a massive canyon. Quite the gouge in the surface of this dwarf planet. This Kraken living. Yeah, see, I didn't realize how. Uh, Closer we're running out of fuel here. Now same about infinite fit. Oh and then we're out. Oh and then we just lost our engine. Well that's a bummer. And our ladder's messed up. We're on drugs. So super low. You we don't even really need a ladder. You can probably jump from the ground up to the hatch, but we extend the ladder. These used to be lined up. I tested it before we built the rest of the ship. Cut it out of the video, but it was tested. Pretty sure you've seen in the time lapse that they were like right next to each other. He got down, grabbed it. But see, yeah, you can jump pretty much up to that one. So the bottom one is kind of unnecessary. Jeff does a little dance. He's happy to be on drugs. He's gonna try to get next to the and look over. And then he ends up kind of going down a little bit. Like, wait a minute. I didn't realize I was going. Alright, let's just chill. I'll chill there. Next out, Valentina. She kind of gets stuck on the solar panel. She goes. Alright, I'm gonna go out a little bit further. See what we got. Um, okay, you gotta get kind of way out here to really get down on the crater. And then at that point, she just says, Alright, I'm just going down in the crater. It's not a crater, it's a canyon. Canyon. Canyon tone, canyon. Get your uh, stuff together. Then she lands on this little ledge here. There's still quite a bit of canyon left. And, um,. Well, that was interesting. Yes, Vale. Vale quickly. Very good idea. As you see, Jeb's still staying there. We go past him. I'm not sure which, uh, cure burden we have now. He's gonna look back at the wall like, this is really neat. 
And he's like, I'm gonna land on top of this. What is over here? What kind of view can I get from above? He didn't quite make the top. He realizes that's quite a view. He can't even see where Val is down there. I don't know if, if I'm looking at her helmet or a rock. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Boost down there. Feels like we're going really quite fast. I was expecting those kerbals to explode. But no. They all land. Securely. Oh, back to our, uh, Kraken ship. Oh, we have Tim and Bill aboard, yeah. Oh, and now it's doing a handstand. Or headstand. Parachute stand. Um, wait, where did Jeb go? Jeb is no longer here. You know, every time we went by, we flew by him. Yet Jeb has now disappeared. There is no more Jeb. The Kraken has took Jeb. Rest in peace, Jeb. Rest in peace. As our uh, ship is still doing uh, staying on its head. It's time for Bill or Bob. One of the B Cameron's. They go down and meet with his fellow Kirby's. Down this little, like, I don't know, halfway point? Maybe there's a quarter of the canyon left to go until we get to the very bottom? We're not going any further than this. They just thought this was a great spot to be. And we keep flipping back. There's no job. There was five kerbals that came with us. That's a five seat thing. What happened to Jeb? Well, find the flag. Driz Schmoll Canyon. Canaan. The Schmoll Canaan. The Canyon Crew. This is now their home. Well, that's going to wrap up this Kraken-filled funness. There'll be uh, two cards on the screen. One of the last video and one that YouTube believes you will like the best. Sign off. Till next time. Goodbye.